Hey guys, Raising the Roof here, and today we're going to be looking at my setup. Uh, just the other day I got something new, and I haven't actually shown my new steering wheel. So, uh, yeah, let's get looking at that. Alright, so, yeah, it's a little weird because I got my one screen that I do most of my, like, internet browsing and everything on with the nice chair. And then I got my simulator stuff. So, I would love to make a stand for all this that has a, a screen mount. Hoping to do that in the near future, but uh, we will see what happens. All right, so I got the Logitech G920 a little while ago. I, ne I never really showed it. Um, kind of that's when I didn't post anything. Uh, we'll see how much I post now. But uh, yeah, we're going to show um, that a little bit. And uh, But the new thing that I just got was the joystick. It's the Logitech Extreme 3D, right? Yeah, Extreme 3D Pro, actually, not just Extreme 3D. Extreme 3D Pro. Um, so, yeah, it's nice and simple to use. I'll just sit down here and show you guys. So, it's a very nice joystick. It's got lots of buttons. I think, like, 12 or so buttons. Anyway, so, yeah, you got your joystick. You can hold it like this. It's actually really nice and comfortable. Really easy. So, as you, you got your two axes, forward, back. And then you've also got twist. Twist left, twist right. So that's pretty sweet too. You have button here on your thumb. You got your trigger. You have an eight-way hat switch. It actually feels really good on the thumb. So like going like this and so. Yeah, I really like it. Then you have four buttons. You got, well, these are labeled three, four, five, six is what their buttons are. Trigger is button one, this is button two, and then that's where you get three, four, five, six. But yeah, so like I said, it's really nice and easy when it comes to actually having, you know, you got your six buttons, I guess. I mean, most things, trigger is usually is a very specific need. You know exactly what you want when you want a trigger. But yeah, it's easy for your thumb to get up here. Uh, only problem with this one, I will say, it's only right hand. If you use your left hand, I'll show you here. If you use your left hand, you got easy of this. You don't have your wrist rest anymore. And, like, you can pull your trigger. You can hit your button too. But you gotta be careful that you don't press them all, both at the same time. But, yeah, you still got this. So, I mean, biggest thing is that you don't have your uh, uh, wrist rest. So your arm might get a little sore. So, I mean, if you're using it only sometimes put your hand down here use your buttons here instead and then grab it when you do need it but um there is other left-handed joysticks so i wouldn't mind looking at getting one of them but uh we will see what happens um this will be it for a while i think for my system but uh anyways yeah so talked about the joystick now we'll talk about these buttons so you got your six buttons down here they are Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry, my thumb was in there. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine. No, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So th these are just buttons. You can map them to anything. Uh, some games might already have the map, depending on which game it is. But uh, I mean, you you gotta take your whole hand off or use your second hand to press the buttons. Um, so you definitely don't want those buttons mapped to something where you have to press them and move your joystick. Your joystick's always going to be moved by, you know. Um, if you need, like, press a button to move your joystick a different direction, you always want it on these ones, right? So, but yeah, these ones are great for, like, oh, if you're in a game and want to go to menu or shut off engine in some games, like I have um, in Euro Truck Simulator, I think one of these are is mapped to, I think it's this one, is mapped to... Uh, um, uh, trailer doing the trailer these two are my map no this one's my map so that i can quick quickly check the map on the go um yeah because i drive with the steering wheel and then well like one hand on the steering wheel and i got my basic controls but then i got this one to do my more advanced controls on it too then i just got more buttons right because you get your signal light actually i map signal lights to these two and i think these ones are just don't use this one I might but it's just easier to do this when you're controlling sometimes you gotta keep both hands on the wheel but that's all right um 
And then this one here, this is your throttle. So in a lot of games, like the Crew 2, it's already pre-mapped to this, which is absolutely awesome and everything. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, you got your throttle up, throttle down. And then you got your center, which is no throttle, no reverse. So, um, and I've actually mapped this to GTA controls. I have a profile for GTA. Um, so when I'm in a plane, I've mapped this to like W, A, S, D, no, it's W, no, this is W, this is S, this is A and D, this is your numpad, I can't remember which numpad buttons it is, but, and then I got this to trigger, this to switch weapon, so, I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this Logitech, because I forgot to bring it up, I was going to bring it up and show you guys, there we go, it should be, there it is, oh, 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 I did the wrong thing. Yeah, you can press to play games right from here. It's not at all what I meant to do. I want my GTA 5 profile. So, as you can see, in my GTA... Oh, the Crew 2 is going to start. Sorry, guys. Really unprofessional. I'm going to leave it, though. This is bloopers, right? Blooper reels. <laughs> there we go. I closed it. Okay, so... I forgot to bring my mouse closer so that I can actually use it here. So you can, like, make new profiles, like profile. Like I said, I... Well, I've even got a SnowRunner one, too. But you can even print your device layout so that you can see. Um, I don't have a printer here. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys that, but... Uh, Oh, I might be able, though, to... to show you this one. Anyways, though, like, so yeah, I got uh, my roll. Yeah, see? You just edit, new keystroke, record, and then you record your keystroke. Oh, I want to cancel that. Yeah, cancel that as well. So yeah, you got your axes ones, and then I think for my throttle, yeah, so I set a zone, so that it's not as picky, because otherwise it's 50-50, and right, or like 49-49, and for 2% it's off. So what I did is I did my uh, zone assignment. So in the zone assignment, as you can see, we got W, S, and then no assignment so that it doesn't keep going. So that, that's GTA, right? Your throttle and all that on your cars, which is really cool. And then, yeah, my pitch. Again, I did my axes because it does go right to the center, right? And then your yaw, that's the one that it is. That's A and D. So, yeah, it works really well. As you can see, uh, I'd never set anything to my that one. But, yeah, so space, like I said... Trigger assigned to keystroke space. Okay, for some reason my trigger is space. Is that is that really fire in GTA? I think that is. Oh, I thought this one was oh, I'm I my mistake. So button two, so that's your thumb switch. This one right here. I have that to G, so that's your landing gear and all that. So I still have yet to make all the other buttons and all that, but GTA. The only time I use this joystick here is when uh uh, which we call it? Yeah, the only time that I actually use this joystick in GTA is to fly. So that's why I haven't really done anything besides the uh, the um, flying controls here. Let's see what it comes out when you print it. Oh. Uh. Let's, okay, so this is what, it prints out for device layout. Okay, I thought that was actually going to show the controls, but it doesn't. It just shows your point of view, your butt, which button is which, which it is labeled if you look close enough. It is labeled, so don't really need 
don't really need that. Hmm, interesting. But, yeah, I don't think there's any... Yeah, so... Okay, well, that, that's... Yeah, so device printout just prints out the layout of your device. It doesn't actually do what I thought it did, which is okay. Uh, you do have to download the Log Logitech Profiler. Uh, it took me a little bit to find it. Um, it's completely different software than what the steering wheel uses. A um, little annoying, but oh well. Um, this this software, though, is really good when it comes down to it because you can assign so many different things. Um, so, yeah, there's your basic setup, how to use it. Um, my review on it, I have been using it for a little bit, is definitely... It's an awesome joystick. I, I I personally think that's an awesome joystick. Um, I haven't other, used any other joystick, but like I said, I enjoy using it. It's easy to use. It was actually pretty simple to set up. Um, like I said, games like GTA V and SnowRunner, I had to set in the profiler. Um, the Crew 2, um, I had to turn off the profiler because otherwise it completely messed up the system because it recognizes it as a flight joystick. So when it comes to the Crew 2, it wants to use the joystick. That's the only thing in the Crew 2 is it doesn't recognize steering wheel and joystick. Um, but that's a discussion for another day when I actually show you guys using it in the Crew 2. Um, but then in games like uh, Farming Sim 2019, I've actually been playing a lot of that with this setup. I don't use the steering wheel because in Farming Sim 2019, for some reason... Um, it's really hard, and I feel like that shouldn't be the case. Like, you can see, like, you can hear it feedbacking and stuff, and it, it's pretty hard, but it's not too, too bad. In in Farming Sim, to move it, it's, like, just like this, and you can just hear it grinding, and I, I don't like that. I feel like it's wearing it out. So what I do is I use this. So I'll have one hand on that joystick, and then this one to steer. And then I'll use, I, I use the pedals for throttle and brake and all that, and then clutching in when starting the machine, just for fa effect. Unfortunately, you can't do that. That would be really cool if you could. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I use this for my steering, so I just kind of grab my controller like this and steer, um, which is pretty awesome in a skid steer, because as most of you know, skid steers are double joystick. They don't actually have pedals, so or they don't actually have a steering wheel. I do use the pedal. I know you wouldn't use it in a skid steer because I do drive a lot of skid steer, but um, it's really, you can't set individual machines, which would be completely awesome if you could, but you can't. So yeah, I just use this to steer, steer the skid steer. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's an awesome joystick. I'm going to do some videos on games and setups. Oh, that's what, what I was saying in Farm Sim 19 was uh, it just recognizes the joystick. I can have all three of these controllers plugged in, and when I go to the controls, I'll be like, oh, I want to set that control. Press the button on the joystick, and it tells me which joystick I pressed the button on, which button I pressed, no problems. I have to turn off the profiler again, otherwise it completely messes up the system, and it's like, but you're pressing W, but at the same time you're pressing, like, button 8. So that's the only thing. Um, some games you got to turn off the profiler, others work with the profiler, so... Uh, this is, I know this has been a full mumble jumble, but mostly just a setup guide. Hopefully you guys watch the whole thing to hear all that I had to say. Um, so those of you that have stuck around to say, to hear everything, thank you very much. And, uh, I will be coming out with more videos about setting up certain games and how I play it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Raising the Roof, and I'll see you guys in the next video.